Hi folks, and welcome back to Conan Exiles. This will be episode 16 of the Savage Wilds playthrough. And in this episode, I want to go back to up here, the Queen's Tomb. So we visited that maybe a couple of episodes ago, and we found there was a whole bunch of legendary chests in there, but we didn't have the keys to open them. Uh, we've then found... Oh, I forgot to mark them on the map. There was a... Let me see, there was a, a crocodile about here, and there was a reptilian monstrosity around here that we got a... Let me, let me put them on here right now. So right click, skull. So that's the giant croc, just kind of on that... Oh, caps locked on. On that little outcrop there. Uh, and then it was down at the bottom of here, this sort of marshy bit down here. Uh, that was... Um, rep monst for the reptilian monstrosity so we've got keys off of them we've got a couple of them back and forth i've since then discovered a a couple more uh, and i'll take you to them on the way but before we do that we got a bunch a load of different weapons and uh, we got these star metal repair hammers in the last episode when we were up north and we can dismantle all these and break them down into star metal bars, hardened steel bars, etc. We've got some legendaries that we don't really want to get rid of right now. We'll keep a hold of them. But we've got a whole bunch of stuff that I've just got in this chest in here that uh, I want to dismantle. So we're going to really quickly go through the dismantler journey. So first of all, the, the prerequisite of that is you unlock the grinder. We've unlocked the grinder so it's available to us. So the next thing it wants us to do is put bone in the grinder. So we've got some bone in here. Let me see. Oh, I'll just take a little bit. I don't need I don't need a lot, I don't think. Chuck that in there. There we go. Uh, put plant fiber in the grinder. Do we have plant fiber? We do. Uh, again, we don't need a lot. Uh, I, I probably should have showed you what happened there. The bone in the grinder makes bone meal. Let's take that out. Let's drop plant fibre in there. That makes spice. So we've got some spice which we can use to make spicy food for going up north later on. Let's put that back in there and leave that going. Next put human flesh in the fluid press. So of course in my thrall pot I've got some human flesh. So we're going to put that in the fluid press. I think we maybe have done this already because it makes blood. So one way to get proper bl normal blood, chop up humans, you get human flesh, chuck them there. There's a bit of bone. Let's chuck that in the grinder. Make some more bone meal. There we go. Put coal in the fluid press. All right, we should have a bunch of coal. Yep. Uh, I can't remember. You need quite a bit. This one is find it really weird. All right, let me take the human flesh out so it stops making blood and we'll drop the coal in and it makes tar 25 coal to make one tar i just don't understand that why you would do that coal is obviously very useful fuel you use it in all your furnaces your stoves your campfires etc and to get one tar out of 25 coal where you can chuck some hide in here and you get thousands of tar really easy as a byproduct of tanning so yeah not sure why you would do that and there we go. Next one is unlock the dismantling bench. So I think that's under survival. Uh, that's it there. So made with the construction hammer. Uh, let me see. Let me just chuck that human flesh back in, in there so we can carry on making that blood. Uh, F. Uh, what would it be under again? It'll be under crafting stations general. There it is. So it needs 100 brick and 50 insulated wood. Okay. I know we're going to need more than that, so I'm going to take 100 of that. Uh, and I think, I think it is 150 brick. And you'll see why very shortly. Okay. Oh, I should have kept that going. General, there we go. Dismantling station. Let's stick it in this gap here. Bonk. Okay, dismantle an item. Alright, let's just take a very simple... Have we got any... What have we got? Something very cheap. 
Uh, there's an iron skinning knife. That'll do. And we drop that in here. And it dismantles it and we get some iron bars and some branches back. So you don't get the full materials it costs to make it, but you get a, a, a sum. Uh, of course, as part of that, we've now learned the improved dismantling bench. So straight away, we can get rid of the dismantling bench that we've just made. Let's claim that reward. Uh, so, delete that. And then we can now make the improved dismantling bench. And it is 150 brick and 100 wood. So slightly more expensive to make, but still not very, very much. It's not that big either. Now, do we have another iron skinning knife to show what we can do? Let me quickly craft one of them just so I can show you. Uh, iron skinning knife craft. Let's take that. I'll give you that items. Uh, we'll take the steel poniards. We'll take the hardened steel skinning knife. We'll take that. And we may as well take that as well. And let's just take a bunch of these stuffs. Uh, we'll take the hardened steel. Let's take the star metal bars. Take that. Take that. Uh, what was that? What did I just pick up? There? Abysmal sword. Yeah, that's not going to be used. Right. Let's just take them as an example. Right. Uh, iron skin in there. So it was 10. Put that in there, we get 12. So it, this used to be a lot better. or Either this used to be a lot better or the standard one was a lot worse, but uh, it's just a slight increase now. But hey, anything you put in, it's more. And we drop the star metal bars in. We're going to get 12 star metal bars and two shape wood from each one. So Awesome. So any star metal weapons that you pick up off of anybody, chuck them in here. You'll get your star metal bars. You can craft your own stuff or repair your own stuff. Uh, that's my knives. Let's chuck all this in and just leave it dismantling away. Okay, right. Well, that was quick. So there we go. We've got a whole bunch of steel and hardened steel and all that sort of stuff from there. Okay, right. The next thing is we're going to go. I'm going to take. Uh, I'm going to take five of these keys. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to take and just in case we we look our luck runs out and we don't get keys off of every boss we fight. I'll take six. Uh, I'll take you. And I'll I'll meet you at the, the next. I'll show you where the next world boss we're going to is. Uh, okay. See you very shortly. Okay. Welcome back. So, we are over here on the map. So there's the base there. Uh, that's the Atlantean tomb, and that's the Scorching Flat. So if I look across there, that's the ramp up to this, the Scorching Flat, up that way. But behind us, up here, if I look down this way and go up the, the east side of this edge here, we look up the top of here, there is a King Scorpion, Three Skull Scorpion over there. So, we'll take him on, and we'll give you some salted pork. I will also have some salted pork. We'll give you your cooked grinds and we'll give you your grey lotus potion. So we've porked our thrall and buffed them up as much as we can. I want my daggers back. Right. I have to be careful not to get knocked off the top of here. Here he comes. Three skull. Oh, spinny tail. What are you going for? Coming for me. Take the aggro, and then I can get the daggers out. And start working our way on him. We do have good... Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, get away from the edge. We do have good armor. He's only doing 148 damage to him. Hopefully, so I think it's got a, is that a perfected hardened steel mace that he's got at the moment. Uh, so hopefully we'll get some nice weapons out of these chests that we're going for. And get him, get him something better, and hopefully we can get something better too. Although, when we're out and about in normal, I don't like to use legendaries anymore. Because obviously you can't repair them. 
Oh, oh knocked them off the edge. Up he comes again. This is this is not a good place. But there we go. Six, eight, four, three, two, one. Down he goes. Oh, there's a star metal bar. We'll take that. Uh, I think we're okay for that. We'll take that. We'll take that and dismantle it. Right, and then we will pick him. Skeleton key. There we go. So we're up to seven keys. We're, we're doing okay. Let me get some more ichor off of this guy. Always useful for making uh, oil. Okay, so that's that guy. So we're going to let you heal up and we're going to head round to the next one. Okay, see you soon. Okay, here we are. Alright, battle music coming from somewhere. What's that? Right, you can see there's another giant croc. I'll show you on the map where we are. Let's zoom out a bit. So over here, in this green area, there's actually a little lagoon here on the, the west coast. And over there, it was fighting a bunch of shalebacks, but it has defeated them all. But uh, yeah, so let's let's take this one out. Is the water is the water defeating you? Can I pull it over here? No ammo. looks a little bit bugged. It was, the last time I came here, it was a bit bugged as well. It kept running away. So you are, you are wanting to fight. Let's see if we can get our guy to jump across here. Come on. Teleport over. Stop picking up stones. Just come over here. There we go. Right take you out. Let's see if we can get it from this side. Or is it just going to be bugged and let us fight it? My claws are sharp. Are yours? It was... I mean, it was literally roaming around killing all these shieldbacks just as I approached. And now it's got itself stuck and I'm going to take full advantage of that. This is the best way to fight a world boss. Not even attacking. Excellent. Thank you very much. Right, uh, we'll take that. We'll take a perfected padding. We'll take that as well. And then we'll chop it and get another skeleton key. So, chuck... Oh, I haven't got my helmet on. Oops. Chuck away the stone. Right, we're going to give you the heavy stuff. Uh, in fact, we'll give you the weapons as well to hold on to. What's that? Right. Okay, right. I'm going to head off to one more location that's not too far away that we haven't investigated yet. And uh, we're going to head over there and see you when we get there. Okay. See you very soon. Okay, here we are. And... As you can see, there is a lot of spider webs all over this place, and I've started encountering spiders as well around here. So I wonder what kind of world boss will be in this area. Right, we just have to find it now. Shouldn't be too hard to find. They tend to be quite large. There we go. Going for the horse, of course. Right, let's head up into this building. So, lots of, uh, I guess that spider, is that spider eggs, maybe? I don't know what that is, but you can harvest a lot of that to get gossamer for making silk with. Right. It doesn't appear to be in the middle. Oh, but that one is. Hard to, hard to see with all the undergrowth. I am 
poisoned, but it's only a little bit of damage. Mm. The mire, this is called. Lots of green widows in here. Which are not too bad. Oh, shield up. I kind of would expect it to be in the middle of the building. Oh, no. Shield. Come on. Right, well that's just been round this side. So it's very Lemurian with this sort of dragon dog thing. Right, let's go around the outside. Oh, where did you come from? Have you nothing better? Two wool. There we go. That's it. Hmm. Spiders everywhere around here. I can see them all the way over there. You will never return to your death. Oh, this is like a another little area up here. Maybe this is where it is. Anything. Oh no, that isn't even a way through. What is that? Have you nothing better, Pop? Take you out. Mm, just like a Lemurian pattern thing. Huh. Am I wrong? Is there not actually a boss here. Oh, there's a black spider now. Ooh, you're, what are you? Red mouth spider, okay. Follower leveled up, so that's you up to level 16. Gained a level. Oh, God, spiders coming from everywhere. Nothing here. What's that? It's like a fallen that head. I think that's a, like a Lemurian queen head. Right, let's see. Uh, aha! There we go. Right, so we're pointing at that. So let's put a mark here. Spider. There we go. Right, so I'm going to need my daggers again. Now, is this the... What's it called? The end of... Or something. No, it's just called Giant Spider. Oh, loads of spiders. Let me take care of these little ones first. Oh, you're, you're almost down. Well, yeah, 33% left, so. It's down before I could even get rid of the little ones. Right, what have you got on you? Oh, there's a purple one. 
blue one. Who would do it? Right, you have a hardened steel shield. Mm, cool. Witchfire powder, layered silk, and some perfected light padding. And we'll harvest you and we get a skeleton key. So, keep the meat, we'll get rid of, we'll get rid of that, get rid of the demon blood. I still haven't got my helmet on. Let me put my helmet on now. Uh, Kaitin, get rid of you. And then put that on there. Uh, how much does that weigh? Seven. May as well put that on you. Put that on you. Okay, all right. I have one more in this approximate area that I want to go to. Um, I think it's actually up up around here somewhere. So it's kind of out of this area, back into the, the northern area. But since we're here, I think it's just over here somewhere. So I'm going to head over and uh, see if I can track it down. Okay, see you soon. Okay, we are in the approximate area now. So if I bring it up in the map, we are here, just south of these sort of rock structures here. That's where we was. We've come northeast from there, kind of in a straight line to the raided village where we were well, last week, and or last episode, and a previous episode. So kind of halfway between the two. And as you can see, there are some locusts here and some of those nest things. Watch out for the poison. So somewhere around here should be a locust queen. But I've got no idea where, so let's just have a wander around. But they're the ones with the, the large ones with the big forked tails. Yeah. Oh, there doesn't seem to be any more in that direction. Oh, there's like a a cave. Oh, look at those things. We did we encounter them before? Oozes Crawl Skin Cavern. Ooh, that sounds lovely. Alright, we're going to need a little bit of healing. Get topped up. Alright. So, is it inside the cavern? Let's go. Oh, looks... It's going to be really dark, so I will need my torch after all. Oh, that's going to be a pain if it's really dark. Oh, maybe it lights up inside. Is that it? I'll take you out, please. And then take you out. Oh, it's coming out. Get on you. Right, how dark is it without without the torch? Very. That's a shame. Right, I'll keep the torch up and I'll just use my mace. It's going down pretty damn quick anyway. And you've got a decent follower. These are not that difficult at all. There we go. It's down. Oh, and it's got a broken scourge stone piece. Do we have that piece already? I can't remember. That could be the third part that we needed for the... For the... Keystone? No. What's it called? Heart of the Sands. Right. Let me see. Skeleton key. We've got some poison. We get some ichor. There we go. So I think we've got loads of these already. Don't need that. Don't need that. Okay. That's cool. We've now got ten keys. So that's... That's more than enough, because I think there is only seven, maybe eight, in the, the Queen's tomb. So that's where we're going to head to next. We're on the north side of it at the moment. Uh, it's over here. So we're going to head down here and get up onto that location, and I'm going to see you when we get there. Okay, see you in a bit. 
Okay, we've made it. These are the, the stairs we need to go up. And go into here again. Except this time, I've come a little bit more prepared. So, I've got some cinders to get through first. Go in. Boom. And we'll take your insulated wood. Alright, so we need to jump down here. And then drop down here. And then get... Take him out. Uh, witch fire powder, yep. Uh, don't care about that. We'll take that, take that. Do you get... Mm, didn't get any skulls off of them. Okay. Right. Oh, there's another... Another dude. Right. We can climb on around here. That's easy enough. Round and round we go. Oh, 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 oh. Nearly, he says, easy enough, and then almost falls in. Get you down. Uh, nothing exciting. Right, this time, we're going to use magic. So I've got my arcane staff with me. I've got a couple of burlap pouches with me. So we can bring up our spells. Uh, wield forces. Shape forces of nature and reality itself. And then the first spell that we learned from sorcery is Frozen Bridge. So point it over there. Logically, it shouldn't work very well inside a place like this full of lava, but it does. And here we go, we can just walk right across. Much easier. Right, let's see what we're going to get. First one, Mistmorn. Our first one is a Mistmorn. Fantastic. For those who don't know, Mistmorn is one shield that gives you five bars of heat protection. So perfect for going into really hot places. Like, like this, for example. Balpator's Lodestone. Uh, that's a uh, 68 damage, 47 armor pen, two-handed hammer. Balpator's Razor. Agility. So that's a, a two-handed uh, a great sword. 75 damage, uh, 23 armor pen, but it's an agility weapon. So it's one of the few two-handed swords that is agility. Hanuman's Gada, 96 damage, 45 armor pen, and applies sunder. Awesome two-hander. Bolting pole, well, it's a it's a pike. Does decent damage, but yeah, it's pikes. Another Mistborn, <laughs> okay. That's interesting. And momentum. Oh my god. Uh, right, let's take that. Momentum is probably... What the hell? What happened there? That never happened before, when I was here. Whoa. So Eater Interact is that book, it's got weapon oils on it. We'd got that last time. And then, oh, this is just a normal chest. Corruption, Grandmaster Weapon Kits. Uh, yes, hardened brick, obsidian, hardened leather, layer silk. We'll take all of that. But yeah, momentum is like the best one-handed mace in the game. Where is it? It kind of works like a two-handed mace, but it is one-handed. So 85 damage and 27 armor pen straight out the box. So much better than this 4124. So you have now gained momentum. We'll take you back. We'll get a we'll get a mod kit on there as well to make it even better. But that worked out really well. We got some very nice weapons from that, so that was well worth it. Mistmorn and a momentum of oh, the same same boxes. Superb. Right, let's make another bridge to get back over there. So nature and reality. Uh, bridge. Point it over in that direction. 
And we can just walk over here. Uh, I've got one pouch left, so hopefully I can use it to do exact same thing to get up there. I should have taken four and then I could have done both ways. But I forgot about this gap here. Did I go up far enough? Yes, it is. Look at that. Superb. Oh, is that a... Oh, I thought that was a speaky stone thing, but it's not. Okay. It's getting very dark. It's night time outside. But yeah, I think that's actually going to do it for today. Um, we've went around. We've got some new uh, world bosses. We've got a couple more uh, skeleton keys. And then we've come back here to the Queen's Tomb and opened the... What was that? Seven? Seven chests? and got some very nice legendaries, including one of the best shields and one of the best uh, thrall weapons in the game in our first batch. Absolutely fantastic. Very lucky, very lucky. Okay, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, as always. If you liked this episode, please hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.